We think these steps are important steps with regard to providing good, clear direction for the General Assembly. The first is removing the reporting requirements on loopholes for gifts to legislatures, legislators and making it uniform with regard to that which the lobbyists have to report. That bill will be a House bill. It would be primed by Representative Blakey with the assistance in the Senate by uh, Senator Lavelle and Cloutier. The second bill is barring legislators from seeking state employment after being elected. We've heard that as the double dipping bill. That will be run in the Senate as a Senate bill by Senator Lavelle and be handled in the House by Representative Moreau. The third is requiring candidates to disclose their legal financial obligations. This is a, a no-brainer. If, if there are elected officials that are not paying their taxes, not paying uh, their child support and other issues, this is one that, that really should be taken care of. That will be a House bill that will be headed up by new Representative Dukes and chaired in the Senate by Senator Lavelle. The next one is barring former legislators from acting as lobbyists for two years. We think that's a fair issue with regard to how we might depart this facility and not compromise the, the issue of us uh, reaching across the aisle and, and carrying forward some of the relationships that we had. That will be run in the Senate by Se uh, Senator Hawker and then chaired over here in the House by Representative Ruth Briggs King. The last one is one that is uh, near and dear to my heart and I think near and dear to the new senators who've moved over to the Senate. Uh, that we have some uniformity in the protocols and rules and procedures and the proceedings in both the House and the Senate. It really does not make much sense uh, using a sports analogy that the University of Delaware team will leave Newark and go to Connecticut and have a different set of rules to be playing that same basketball uh, 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 team or, or a, a game in another state. But that happens in this building. So these are five <coughs> initiatives that we think are very important to make Delaware first and provide that transparency within this building and make some reforms that are very much needed. Why can't we get these bills to a vote? We debated the death penalty yesterday on the Senate floor, for God's sake. And we can't have a debate on the floor about legislators getting a second job once they've been elected? I mean, that's ludicrous. You know, the, the, the gymnastics, the mental gymnastics that we heard to rationalize why the bill to bar a second job uh, once you got elected was phenomenal. Everything will like, what if I wanted to become a bus driver? I mean, just insane. Uh, so the question is really to put to them when we had 15 votes and now there's 14 votes in the House, I assure you that there's eight votes in the Senate for these, you know, why not? I think that also the public is demanding that uh, some reforms are made. So um, we're hoping that this is the time when everyone is listening to it because the, the public in this past election um, really uh, had their, um, their comments made and their voices heard, I hope, uh, from the other side so that uh, some of these bills, all five of these bills, can come to uh, before a committee for a dialogue. I think we deserve that to the people of Delaware.